Hi, good morning. This is Deepak and uh, happy Good Friday to all of you. Um, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope you keep loving unconditionally to feel more joyful and happier and healthier. All of that is connected to your state of being your state of consciousness, your emotional state is connected to your biological state. And in this series, we've been talking about how to restore homeostasis, uh, maximize our immune capacity and minimize inflammation. So uh, keep checking on the previous videos that I have done in this space um, and uh, giving me your feedback if any of that is helping but in this series i'm actually focusing only on spiritual solutions for existential anxiety and suffering and the fear of death that some people are experiencing as a result of this pandemic so um, what i'm saying is the ultimate healing has to be spiritual the ultimate healing has to be to go beyond all our conditioned uh, behaviors, and conditioned mind and conditioned uh, um, addictive patterns. And when we go beyond that, uh, then we have transcendence. We have the emergence of platonic values like truth, goodness, beauty, harmony, love, compassion, joy, equanimity. But uh, we also lose the fear of death because we get in touch with a part of ourselves which is timeless and beyond birth and death. So spiritual solutions are always um, the only permanent effective solutions to any form of suffering. In the past, I've talked about uh, what we call the five kleshas, the five causes of human suffering, and you can uh, go back and check those out. Today, I want to continue in our uh, series of spiritual solutions, and I believe this is the seventh one. And today's um, idea or principle is that I am infinitely flexible, has access to infinite flexibility, infinite resilience, infinite resilience, because I am is infinite, it also has access to infinite dynamism. So once again, I am, not I am Deepak Chopra, but I am is the awareness in which Deepak Chopra is a story, a process. But I am is that which is witnessing the story, including the story of that which we call body, mind and environment. I am is free um, to heal itself uh, because it's already healed. I am is already healed. It only needs to heal its modified expressions, which are mind, body, and the world. It only needs to understand its modified expressions as not being fragmented or separate, but as one with the source of all existence. That's all we need. That little shift in identity from I am Deepak Chopra, the ego mind, squeezed into the volume of a body in the span of a lifetime to the witnessing awareness in which the ego body mind and its experiences are a constantly changing um, expression of that which is unchanging, the seer. The seer is changing all the time. Therefore, it cannot be grasped. But the seer um, is our only identity. And the seer prevents us from losing it by being overwhelmed by the scenery. In this series, I've talked about all the different qualities of the unified field of consciousness and how tapping into it helps us restore healing at many levels, physical, perceptual, mental, emotional, ultimately spiritual. 
And so I've talked about the qualities of your consciousness, and today I'm just expanding on that seventh principle. I am is infinitely flexible, is infinitely resilient, and is infinitely dynamic. Dynamic. How do we know that? Well, with every intention, uh, we can actually modulate the experience of mind, body, and perception. So that's how we know that with every experience and interpretation of experience, we can do that. And I don't want to go over material that I've already um, addressed because you might find it redundant and then we can't move on. So let's um, go back to today's principle. I am is infinitely flexible, is infinitely resilient, and is infinitely dynamic because I am is not material. It's uh, spaceless, timeless, borderless, um, has no location in space-time other than every location in space-time. <laughs> And it is the source of all experience, therefore, is obviously infinitely flexible, infinitely resilient, and infinitely dynamic. So right now, what I want to do is give you certain principles, maybe five or six principles that may help you to access your infinite flexibility, infinite resilience, and infinite dynamism. Principle number one, make a commitment, right? 100% principle number one, make a commitment right now to never complain, condemn, criticize, or play the victim. Once you make that commitment, every time you break that uh, commitment to yourself, don't beat up yourself, but just remind yourself that you made that commitment. So let's do it right now. No criticism, no condemnation, no complaints, and no playing the victim. Principle number one. Remember, we are harnessing infinite flexibility, infinite uh, resilience, and infinite dynamism. Number two. Number two principle. Uh, stop obsessing about the future. It doesn't exist right now. It's good to have a vision of the future, but if you keep planning the future every moment, then, um, you know, uh, as the joke is, if you want uh, to make God laugh, uh, then tell God your plans. Because uh, the future is unknown, even though we can envision it and put the seed intention for a more joyful future, uh, for a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier, and joyful world. And by putting that intention in our consciousness and having that vision, we can accelerate that. But if we are totally attached to outcome in every moment, then um, we end up only thinking about the future and never being present. And so when the future arrives, we're not present for it anyway, because we're not in the habit of being present. So stop obsessing about the future. Principle number two. Principle number three is stop regretting the past. It's over. It doesn't exist. So what's the point in obsessing over it or regretting it? So uh, as the biblical expression says, let the dead, bury the dead, and be done with it. So stop regretting the past. Principle number four, which automatically follows, cultivate the presence of being in every experience. Uh, just uh, be present to every experience as it happens, as it unfolds. No labels, no judgments, no evaluations. It is, this moment is actually free of any tension. So be present. Principle number four. Principle number five, um, uh, stay immune to criticism or flattery. That is the ego's melodrama as it seeks to control, as it seeks power, 
as it seeks uh, sensation, as it seeks security. These are human addictions and that come from the first three chakras. So the addiction to security, the addiction to sensation, the addiction to power and control it can totally mess up your life. And so be aware of these addictions and move from this addictive space into a different space of loving awareness, creativity and abundance, insight and inspiration. And that comes <clears throat> when we um, cultivate um, the presence of being um, in every experience without um, judgment and that makes us automatically immune to criticism or flattery which is the ego's melodrama so the ego is uh, pretty treacherous in that it loves drama and the drama interferes with uh, creativity um, so be immune to criticism and feedback um, is important but be immune to criticism and flattery um, because if you are easily offended um, and easily flattered, then you're at the mercy of every stranger on the street at all times. And so um, if you are in that mode uh, where you are easily offended, then you're going to be offended for the rest of your life. And that's not a good place to be, even biologically. Okay, so that's principle number five. And principle number six is even though you're not personally offended by criticism, uh, remember that um, it's important uh, to be um, responsive uh, to feedback. Because feedback um, is a process through which we learn and we grow and we evolve. Can you remember these six principles? Can you remember them? Okay. Because if you do, you'll tap into resilience, flexibility in consciousness. And resilience in flexibility in consciousness is access to infinite dynamism to create what you want, including self-regulation, self-healing, optimizing immune system, minimizing inflammation, on and on. So um, these are the six... Uh, principles for today to maximize flexibility in consciousness which leads to flexibility of mind and flexibility of attitude and flexibility in relationships and flexibility in the body which is what yoga is flexibility in the body but before that flexibility in awareness if there is no flexibility in awareness there's no flexibility in the body either. Okay, so this is uh, all there is to say today. I am is uh, infinite flexibility, infinite resilience, infinite dynamism. Let's uh, choose a mantra for that. How about choosing a mantra for that, okay? Uh, I will uh, choose a mantra today that comes from uh, the Puranas. Uh, Om Gam Ganapataya Nama. Om Gam Ganapataya Nama. Om Gam Ganapataya Nama. Or if you find that too difficult, just say Om Ganesh Nama. Om Ganesh Nama. Om Ganesh Nama. So Ganesh is an archetypal symbol that says we can uh, end all suffering. Uh, you've seen Ganesh, you know, the statues of Ganesh, half elephant, half human. The big head is for introspection. The trunk represents strength and discernment. Uh, the third eye represents the eye of intuition. The big ears represent uh, deep listening. Um, the snake represents the ego identity. One foot in the transcendent uh, represents pure consciousness. The other foot uh, up in the air represents the relative world of space, time, and causality. 
and the two goddesses Siddhi and Riddhi represents uh, uh, extrasensory perception and access to non-local dormant abilities. So Ganesh is a symbol of higher consciousness that helps you remove all obstacles. Om Ganesh Nama. Om Gam Ganapatai Nama. Okay, that's it for today. Satyan, thank you. Nadine, uh, greetings from Spain. Amin Singh, Felipe in Madagascar, in Madagascar, thank you. Samantha Smith, blessings. Bobby, uh, blessings to you. Laurie, blessings to you. Uh, Susie uh, says, I'm in the gap. Yeah, we're all basically uh, sharing our experiences right now in the gap right now. The space that engulfs all of us is the gap. As is the gap between breath and thought and sensations and images and feelings and any experience. So all the best. Om Ganesh Nama. Take care.